you made your own leotard, but you have scraps of leotard fabric. What do you do with the scraps of leotard fabric? Today, I am going to show you life hacks on what you can do with the scraps of leotard fabric. Cut little strips of leotard fabric so you can use them as twisty ties and I use them to pair socks or to pair gloves or to wrap an electrical cord by shortening the distance of the cord or to close bags. Little strips of leotard fabric can also be used as bookmarks. Do you need a replacement band for your safety goggles? Cut a strip of leotard fabric according to the girth of your head. I suggest that you measure three times or four times before averaging because you do not get the same measurement every time. Insert the leotard fabric into each slit. Use a toothpick if you have trouble of inserting the leotard fabric into each slit. And make a knot twice on each side. A double knot increases the endurance. Make sure that the fitting between your head and the safety goggles is just right. You could use long pieces of leotard fabric to hold large things together or for decorating presents by tying bows. You could use a long piece of leotard fabric as a stretch band for a tool for physical exercises. It makes sense that stretch band exercises and leotards are connected. Are you afraid that any virus is going to get you and slash or are you afraid that you give other people any virus? You can use leotard fabric to make your own mask. The blueprint of the mask is a simple rectangle. And here is the blueprint. Because each person's face is unique, measure the girth around your face on your mouth. I suggest that you measure three times or four times before averaging because you do not get the same measurement every time. The reason why we subtract four inches, three and one half inches from the blueprint and one half inch from the seam allowance is to get a fit to be just right so the mask will not come off automatically by gravity. 
and because leotard fabric is stretchy. To know the seam allowance, use Taylor's chalk to draw the seam allowance parallel to the short side, six inch side. Use a single ballpoint needle with a size of 11 slash 75. Before sewing, baste the seam allowance by using a straight stitch with a stitch length of 7 millimeters and with a stitch width of 6 and 1 half millimeters and with a thread tension of approximately negative 1 half and when you baste use a binder clip to hold the end. After basting, slowly sew the seam allowance by using a multi-zigzag stitch, finish stitch with a stitch length of four millimeters and with a stitch width of four millimeters and with a thread tension of approximately negative one half and do not sew over any lumps. To know what side is the back, sew a strip of leotard fabric one half inch by six inches of a different color onto the connecting line, but baste it first to hold. You could use a long piece of leotard fabric for an aerial silk for your dolls. If you are shrunk, you can imagine that a strip of leotard fabric that is folded in half vertically in one of two orientations, tail side down or hammock side down is an aerial silk. It makes sense that aerial silks and leotards are connected. Here are pictures of an Adam Branca doll on the aerial silk. That is my life hacks with leotard fabric. And I hope that you can put the scraps of leotard fabric into good use.